Namaste. Welcome. For this lesson, let me teach you the Shitkari Pranayama. So this breath regulation is helpful in relaxing and restoring our nervous system, as well as to aid the function of our endocrine our organs, as well as our digestion. It's a cooling breath, so if you feel hot, for example, this is a good way for you to you know, balance the temperature of your body. So definitely don't do this when the body is already cold or during the colder months of the year. All right. So after a practice of intense asana and you feel the need to restore and to cool down, it's also a helpful way to cool the body down or any time of the day you feel the need for it. Yeah. So the technique is simple. So we will just allow the tip of the tongue to lightly uh, relax towards the backs of the teeth, uh, towards the upper regions of our teeth. Like you want to lightly fold the tip of the tongue towards the backs of the upper teeth and just let it relax them. So you don't want to be um, exerting too much pressure there. And then the lips are lightly passive, yeah, open like this, like you're forming uh, a gentle smile. You don't want to be uh, forcing the lips wide. Yeah, you want the jaw relaxed, you want the neck relaxed. Just open the lips. Yeah? And then we will lightly close the teeth. So like this. So like you're forming a gentle smile on the lips. Then we will inhale the breath through our mouth and allowing the air to pass through the gaps of our teeth. Thus, you will feel the cooling sensation of the breath touch the, the teeth, the gaps between the teeth and the tongue. And you can direct the breath yeah, to the higher regions of the head, right and left hemispheres of the brain, or even higher up the inner brain, or down to your shoulders, down to your neck. Yeah, so predominantly around this spot. All right, and you may practice a retention at the top of the inhalation or a gentle kumbhaka. How long? Maybe four seconds. Good, and then you will exhale the breath through the nostrils. If you're not doing a retention, just follow your natural rhythm. So I will be showing you one round of with retention and one round without retention. All right, so first, you can allow the mouth and the tongue just to uh, align. So I'll, normally I would just exercise my tongue by rolling it inside the mouth maybe three clockwise, and then three to the counterclockwise. Then a bit of a side to side. Yeah, and then do some neck stretches like that, just to uh, open the pathways of the breath. Good. And the spine is open, definitely. And the spine would have to remain open. Then you'll open the lips, yeah, close the teeth, and just relax the tongue behind the upper teeth. Inhale through the mouth, forming that hissing sound. Yeah, focusing our attention to that hissing sound. Closing our lips. Exhale through the nostrils. Good, so that's without our attention. Yeah, definitely, as you breathe through the process, there will be some involuntary actions of the heat. So like you're accessing involuntarily the chain mudra, but you don't want to be clenching it. So as you inspire the breath, the head will slightly fold forward to make room for the energy to rise, and then open the throat, exhale through the nostrils while the lips are closed. Good, so that's without retention. Yeah. So with retention, so same technique, it's just that at the top of the inhalation, you're going to lightly hold yeah, the inhalation and then lightly clip the throat in, but don't clench it, and then retain for maybe four seconds. Not too long, yeah, just for you to um, send yeah, the, the, the soothing sensation higher up the central nervous system, the brain inside, such as this. Yeah? So after the retention, slightly relax the throat, open the neck, and exhale the old air out of the nose. So how many? So start small, maybe for the first two weeks, only 10 repetitions. Then gradually adding five repetitions every two weeks until you can comfortably practice and do this technique for 40 rounds per session. Preferably daily in the morning, but if you don't have the time, maybe three times a week, as long as you do this regularly and any time of the day you have the availability. 
So the Shitkari Pranayama is also a good preparation for meditation because it relaxes the mind. So you might practice meditation or stillness after this, or you can just carry on with the rest of the day. Till the next time. Namaste.